Okay, so we got an issue here. Our garbage company, Valet Services, which is based in Florida, but we live in Washington fucking state. They don't have an office here in Washington state. They don't have any oversight. They don't have any supervisors, but they send their companies to work here anyways. Doesn't make any sense. Damn you, Florida. Damn you, Valet Garbage Services. So they, uh, they sometimes, they skip nights. They don't pick up our garbage. And sometimes they, they skip nights and, and they, they, they do come, they come up the stairs, they look at our garbage can, they take one bag out of two or one bag out of five or two bags out of five. They might, if we have any cardboard out, they might take the cardboard and leave the bags behind. They use a Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. No high sides installed, just a regular lame Toyota Tacoma pickup truck instead of a garbage truck or a dump truck or a, a commercial uh, a commercial dump truck or a commercial lease business lease uh, high sided truck they don't use those but they still pick up garbage anyways they pick up your garbage bags they pick up your uh, your cardboard as long as it's flattened right now we have some boxes from Costco that aren't flattened but we'll put those out later we're saving those for later to continue this war because you know what? Valet services, they like to use garbage and get, uh, for war. They do. Their job is to simply collect our garbage, put it in their truck, and take it to a transfer center, transfer station, right? Wrong. What they do is they, uh, they, they skip some of our garbage. They come up the stairs, they, they don't take it all, they take one or two bags, they leave the rest behind. And they don't empty the whole can. And they might skip the cardboard. They might put a little door tag on the doorknob that they will add in pen an extra rule that's not already pre-printed on the door tag. So when they do that, uh, they're adding an extra rule that's not on the door tag, which means you can't fucking do that, valet. Mm -mm. So, last week we put out a sign, or I made a sign. Bring the camera on the tripod outside, please. We're fine. We made a sign. It says... The more you, the more garbage you skip tonight, the more you'll have tomorrow. Hashtag, the more you know. Hashtag, quit skipping. And we have a full can with four bags, uh, three in the bottom, small ones, and one big bag. And then we put out our cardboard, which we've had for like two months. Um, and finally, we're throwing it out. And I wrote on that in regular pen, trash me five times. And also, I'm as flat as I can possibly get. What? Now, if they want it flatter, then screw them. That's as flat as a cardboard box can get when it can't be legitimately flattened. <sighs> I'm tired. I want to move. I want our next apartment to have just standard waste management dumpsters. Or waste management pickup, maybe still with the same garbage cans, and then you take it out on a single garbage day. I don't know. I just want better garbage pickup that doesn't involve me feeling stressed out and emotional when I'm on my way home from work, and I don't know if they came on that night to pick up my garbage, or if they came and they took two bags but left behind three. See, that stresses me out. And then I have to go to bed stressed out because they come at 7, between 7 and 8 p.m. every night. But sometimes they don't. Sometimes they come later. Sometimes they come earlier. They don't have any consistency. They have a Toyota Tacoma pickup truck with no high sides and claim that that's good enough to pick up, uh, I think it's 155 apartment units worth of garbage. I don't know. It's whatever. I'm just tired of this war. I want it to be over. I wish our apartment company would invest in waste management and a commercial company that is local. 
and not use this out of state company shit. So stupid. And please click like and subscribe and the notification bell and adios. I'm tired of this war. Good night, y'alls.